Hello friends, welcome to my channel again in Amrita's Code Gold. Recently friends, you might have seen that I have uploaded one YouTube shorts in my channel where I have shown one date picker calendar of Python. Today I am going to explain in detail how we can easily create date picker calendar using tkinter python library. Yes friends, python comes with many libraries which are used for different purposes. One of the library is tkinter library which is used to create GUI applications. Now what is GUI applications? GUI stands for graphical user interface. The GUI application consists of many GUI components like menus, windows, input files, text boxes, check boxes and many other controls. While using GUI applications, we perform an action and an event is generated. Now, what is event? Event means that maybe some clicking of a mouse or maybe you press a key on the keyboard or you're dragging a mouse. So most GUI follows that when program responds to the events. And believe me, it is very easy to create UI applications in Python. So before I begin explaining how we can create date picker calendar, friends, if you really want to have fun with Python coding and you are interested in creating some UI applications, please do subscribe my channel Amrita's Code World. Click on the bell icon for further notification and please do like my channel if you really like it. Your subscription and liking will really motivate me to come up with more innovative ideas of programming. So let's start. code. First we are starting with the comment that is python date picker calendar. Now here I have imported two modules. One is tkinter and one is that tk calendar. Okay so these two modules we'll have to import. How we can install these two modules in your python uh, at, along with your python installation in windows that i will show you at the end of the video so please do watch till the end so that you will understand that how to install these two modules in your system so because it does not come by default with the python application you'll have to import it separately okay, so first you are importing two modules tkinter and tk calendar now root equal tk so you are going to create the window on which you are going to create the controls date picker calendar control button labels that we will see now what is this tk this tk is a function which will help you to create the window the blank window so and root is the object for holding that window now root dot title you are going to create the title of that window and the title the name which is given as a string python date picker calendar now next is that next task of creating the window is that we'll have to provide the width and height of the window so it's given geometry function is given so the height is given as 350 by 550 next we are going to create the canvas on that particular window so canvas one is the object and canvas is the function and on which window we are going to create and that is that root window the main window where we are going to create the canvas then canvas one dot one config so we are calling the function config and we are going to set the background color as bg equal so i have used some hexadecimal color code here 
so that you get some different color then canvas one dot pack so next we have used as a parameter expand equal to so that that window which the size we have given 350 by 550 but it can be extended to the full screen on both the sides now next thing which we are going to do is that we are going to create the calendar control by calling the calendar function so your cal is the object you have given the name of the object as cal then that name can be whatever user defined name can be given and then calendar is a function and then here parameters are given on which window we are going to create the calendar that we are specifying here as root then select mode equal day so that in the calendar you can select the mode as day and the default year month and day is given as today's date I have given like year equal 2021 month 12 and day is 11. Now the thing is that you'll have to use a place function that where you are going to place that calendar button on the window. So you are using the parameter relax that is relative exposition x coordinate 0 0.1 relatively y coordinate as 0 0.2 then the width of the calendar will be 0 0.8 and the height will be 0 0.4. Next is that you can also use a pack function or you can just omit it. This pack function is used as I said that to place it on the, the widgets on the windows. But since we have already used a canvas, so this is optional. Before I proceed with the rest of the coding part, I would like to run the module. And then we can see here that here it's opening in another window that python date picker calendar as you can see the height and width of the window is given as 350 by 550 and then the calendar is placed as per the parameters given here and then you can see that below that another label and the button is created okay for that we will just go with the rest of the Code. okay i will explain this peak date function later on first let me explain you the label and button which is created so here label widget is created or the control is created by using the level one function and here again the parameters which are taken here that root that means that on the root window the main window the level is will be, will be created the background color is given here black foreground color that is fg equal white then text the text as you have seen that the text is displayed at display date and the font is given as courier and the size of the font is 12. Then again for label also you are we are using the place function so and then we are giving the relative position of x and y coordinate x0 point these are all the sizes in pixels so 0 0.21 relative y equals 0 0.64 and height equals 0 0.08 then below the level another button is created button one is the name of the object and by using the button function we are going to create the button and here again the parameters are given as the root then on the root window it has been created then text equal the button text is given picked it then the border is given as bd equal 3 that is the border of the button then bg is the background color that is blue then foreground color, uh, color yellow then font is again used as courier and the size is given 12 and here which is most important here is that here command equal pick date what is that command equal pick date that is when we will click on the button one action will be generated one event will be generated when the by the clicking of the mouse on the button then it will call the pick date function now i will explain the pick date function but before that i will just again explain this part like where to place the button you are placing the button below the level so we have given the x and y coordinated coordinate then the width and the height of the button then i will just explain the pick date function now see here now this function will be called on the clicking of the button that is command equal pick date now what is written here now we are going to change the text of the level so we are 
writing this particular statement level 1 dot config then text equal to days date is then cal dot get it now this cal is the object of the calendar or the widget and then we are calling the system defined function that is get date function get underscore date function we are calling so that once you click on the button the today's date or whatever date is picked up by the calendar it will be displayed on the level by using the get date function this is a built in function which is available in this tk calendar module now at the end which you never should never forget that is we'll have to write root dot main loop for what purpose this will be used now this main loop function is mainly used for displaying the window till the end till the time we don't close the window it should be displayed so okay that's the coding part now i just again run the code now just see this here this is a window been created as i explained now here i click on pick it now default date is selected as 11 december 2021 so that has been displayed here in month date and year order then i select any other date like i go to november and i choose 17th of november and then i choose the maybe the year is 2020 17 november then i click on pick date and see the date is changed on the level so this is the way you can easily create one gui application for date picker calendar in python as i mentioned friends that at the end of the video i will show you how to install tk inter module and tk calendar module or libraries whatever you say at the end of the video so uh, how to install so you'll have to just click on the start button then click on run command and here you just type cmd and then click on ok so it will open command prompt for you so you can just make it a little big and then you just type the command pip install then you just write the library name so now um, you should remember that while in working with this pip command you must have that you must have installed python in your system and also while installing python you have to remember that you click on this check box that is add python whatever the version to path so if you don't do it then the pip command will not work and provide and when you are working this this command your system should be connected to the internet now once you write the command this on the this command prompt you just hit enter key so your installation will start in my system already tick enter already have installed so see that's why it's saying that could not find a version that satisfy this requirement tick enter so no matching distribution found for tick enter okay but then if because already i have installed for the version so if you want to install for the first time this command will perfectly work now let us try with the next one pip install and then tk calendar so you'll have to just write this and then again hit enter key so see now it's already saying that requirement already satisfied that means in my system already this particular calendar is been installed so this is the way you should install tk enter and tk calendar module in your system once it is done you just hit in exit so friends i hope that you have understood that how easily we can create date picker calendar in python using tk enter module and hope that you will also try at home that and creating such kind of application and i also hope that in my next upcoming videos i will be able to guide you some another type of gui applications using python so friends if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified 
of my upcoming videos and yes if you like my video please do like also thank you thanks for watching